Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now, I'm on here today because I'm going to make a house. <coughs> Pin cushion thing that you can hang on your, um, your journal if you want to. Now, in a piece of fabric, and I've got a piece here that keeps on turning under, so I might just cut another bit off this. <coughs> keeps on turning under on me. And it's about two inches. I think it's two inches. I'm in Australia. No, it's not a bad day. Not too bad a day. <coughs> it's Friday, and um, <laughs> I'm just going to work away on this today. Um, so I've got that's three. So I've got a three inch piece by two inches. Okay. Well, hang on a second. Wait a minute. One, two, three, and a bit. I think. And better come back with that. I just tried to put a. I just tried to put a bit of it together so you could see. Um, so I could see what it would work all right before I started. <laughs> just want to make sure it's going to work okay. So now um, you need a piece that's this is three and a half inches actually, and I can never find the. Um, here it is. I can say I never find the ruler. And actually, not it's three and three. Oh, here's inches, right? And that makes me up so bad because I look at the wrong side of the tape here. Okay, so we're going to cut this off here like that. So we've got. So that's three and a half inches that bit there I always look at the top piece but I can't turn this around because then it's upside down and back to front okay now um then for the top for the roof you do a little tiny pattern thing right your little pattern thing is really easy to do all you do is do across the um the size of your house say is to to um is this two inches? I think it should be. Yeah. For some reason, it just doesn't look <laughs> wide, but anyway, it is. All right. So you want a two-inch piece across here. So we'll go from there to there, right? Now you need to go uh, halfway. I'm not even in the picture here, am I? I mean, you need to go halfway. So we've got one inch there. And from that one inch, you measure up you look at the bottom bit here, it's one and a quarter. Right -o. So you want one and a quarter, put a spot there, right -o. Take your ruler and what go from that spot to the end of that piece that you just drew that line there, and then you take this piece down to there, and hopefully that'll be the size of your little triangle which looks so much bigger than this one here for some reason but I don't know it is a bit it is a bit but it doesn't matter that's just how you're going to get that to fit the top of your house okay now I've cut out the, the little pieces I just went um actually got three I don't know why I got three but I've cut the pieces out that's going to be the roof and some doors and a couple of windows and I've got them ready there if I want to to do them so now we need to put a piece of something in there because we're going to be sticking pins in it all right so i've got this furry stuff which is a wadding thing furry it's like a wadding that you put in quilts okay i've got mess all over it always fluff on everything around here okay so you want to put that there I'm always picking up these things that don't cut anything, aren't I? Never fail. Okay. <coughs> Cross here. Now I don't think we need to have it in the roof part. We don't. We'll see what happens anyway. We could. We, we could do that because we've got enough here. <laughs> so I don't know why I did this double, but I did. <laughs> okay, so we, now we can do that. We'll fit the roof in here as well, won't we? Because you only need to have this much right and you need to cut it a bit smaller piece of that in the thing we need to cut this little tiny bit smaller eh? <laughs> right like that please you need half the size and you don't want it to be Right across the back you need to fit in there okay then we're going to put this on here so 
best thing I can do then is cut that out by just eyeballing it, not hard, okay. Righto, move that over a tiny bit. Go up there and down there. Right, so we can make a little house. I do love doing houses, I do. <laughs> okay, so let's do the base first, the ba the bottom part first. Here, <coughs> which we have way too much of now as compared to how much we've cut out of there. I don't think that matters because I think we can just put our roof on wherever it wants to sit and it'd be best if it has got that bit under the back of it. So what I've done, I've just turned this up here like that. I'm going to get some a needle and thread and I've, catched, I've caught all my needles on this over the time that I've been sitting in here with this magnet here. So I've caught, caught the needles and I'm just going to use a piece of thread that is something close to the same, same colour which is white will do white will do, it doesn't really matter you're going to be able to see it anyway aren't you I don't want it too much so I don't know why I pulled all that off there anyway I hope everybody's having a good day I'm not doing too bad <laughs> I did go back to sleep but so I'm not going to have a sleep this afternoon because I went to sleep this morning for a while ok so I don't know why but sometimes when I I get out of bed and if I wake up about 6 o'clock I get a bit tired by the time I've had my breakfast and that so anyway that'll look cool won't it so let's do this let's sew around there now if you can you want to maybe not catch that it doesn't matter whether you do or not if you catch on oops no not hang on we'll put one in when we get through right -o. Bit. Put a pin in this, Sonia. Put a pin in. Okay. You know, it's just the right size to just put a few pins in. Now, so you could use this for um, make a little thing like a necklace to put around your neck, you put your pins in if you wanted to, I suppose. You know, just to, while you're sewing. So you could find a couple of pins or something, or put it on the side of your book with a couple of pins in it, your journals, with anything in there that you like, and you just sew around the side like so. Oops. I'm just looking over there to see what time will be when I will be finished this by. I hope. Right, now we're going to go across the bottom. And I didn't. I, it's good that I folded the bottom up so it's got a nice easy edge on there. <coughs> now you, you don't worry about straightening it because you don't need to straighten it, do you? You need to have a little bit of a you know cushy cushiness to it, a gather look, looking thing. <laughs> okay. Now, like I said, it doesn't matter if I if I do go into the. sides here. I mean if I if I sew the wadding part it does not matter. I do like the idea of the little gather the little pat what's the name there? Okay, so that uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> fray <laughs> fraying. Okay. So me my roofs. I think I might have cut these out different sizes, did I? Oh no, they're alright. That's not bad, is it? So you want one roof part that way and one roof part that way. And you've got your roof. You've got to catch on to it all though, don't you? Make sure I don't miss any. Maybe I could just add a tiny bit of glue in here. Because so I don't know if it's actually going to be sticking anything to that bit. I have to... Oh, I went on... I tried to buy some of this glue and everybody's out of it. Oh, it's really dear some places. Really expensive. It just depends whether you buy the, that top bit with it. And I won't have to do that, will I? Because I've already got two top bits. Just put a bit there just to hang on to this while I'm... I'll put it in the right place. And then we get a bit of this here and put on here. Again, again in the right place. I, need, I know that that's looks crooked on the back because that bit there's not exactly in the right place but as long as we get these pieces lined up 
it's all right, you know, we need to make sure they're going to land together when we sow it. <laughs> okay. I think I might go across here first, don't you think? Make sure I pick up all these pieces of fabric. Yes, well, that's going to be tricky. Let's go up the side. Where, where's me? Should have put that down a bit further, shouldn't I? Onto the onto here. I should have put it down further there to make sure I was going to catch it. So I'm going to move it down a bit. It's a good thing this glue. This glue doesn't dry fabric very fast, and that's not a bad thing, you know. Because if I want to shift anything, I can. This might take a tiny little while to get through and make sure you've got the back and the front because we don't want to be having to sew them both on separate. It won't be, it'll take too long and it won't be fun at all, will it? If you do. All right. It doesn't matter if it's not really straight either because I don't think it'll fall over. I <laughs> hope not. Anyway, we can keep going down here. Here's my husband going outside. I think he's some. I don't know he's talking to. I don't think we're respecting anybody. Oh, yeah, he's got something. Must be, must be the postman or something. It might be, and it might be his parcel. Yeah, it was a parcel postman. He was expecting a parcel, so he'll be pleased about that. It's the thing to cover over his um, fruit trees, the things he covers them over with so the flies don't get in them, and the tomatoes. What that is. So we please that's here. He uses those um bed mosquito things, you know, that they put over the and they did oh maybe he's not doing that this time, that's right, because I was asked by him <laughs> about overlocking down when he he's making he got this big piece of sheet of stuff and he's gonna make some, that's right this year, so it looks like I'm making those. That's fine, I'm good with that. Now I, I managed to catch everything, so that was good. I'm really pleased with that. Isn't he a little rugged little place? That's an really nice, isn't it? Nice little um, country house. <laughs> but anyway, now I'm just gonna sneak back in under here. I'm gonna keep my needle threaded. I've got some little bits, I've got some little house, little, little window and a little door. And I know the, the squares are going weird, but I think I um, should probably put the door up the right way just for the sake of it, eh? What do you reckon? Just put the door up the right way. Okay. Now I'm going to sneak through the back under here with a piece of thread. As I just said that, in not I? Okay. We're doing that. <coughs> And then we're just going to go around and sew this down. Don't go through the back. Just sew through your piece of stray bit of thread there. <coughs> just sew through the window bit. <laughs> and through there. All right. Haven't used the overlocker for years. Oh. I don't mind threading it if I got if I've got a nice quiet place, you know, and there's and I can concentrate. <laughs> I used to be able to do anything once in a while. What was going on around me? You know, I could if there was sewing or something that I had to do or a bit of knitting or whatever. It didn't matter how much noise was going. I could still manage, but now I need nice and quiet when I'm trying to do something like that. I really do need lots of quiet time. Okay, so we're going to stitch around the door. Am I in the shot? Only just, oh dear, what am I doing here? Sorry, sorry everybody, 
I hope you can see what I'm doing. I, <laughs> I didn't put up a video yesterday because I, I made one, but I was just too come forthcoming with me feelings. <laughs> I thought I'd not do that. <laughs> oh, dear. I just said a few things that I thought didn't need to be said about the person keeps leaving me the thumbs down. <laughs> I just Now I've got four of them, so I'm attracting them, so I better not say anything anymore. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I do. I'm human after all. Anyway, that's enough of that. Otherwise, I won't be able to show you this one either. Yes, I made some nice tassels and things. <laughs> but I've, I've already erased that, so that's gone. <clears throat> okay, so now I've got that. Now we just want to zhuzh that up a bit, don't we? Okay. I have these little pebbly things, these little bally things, but they're too far apart. So, I might do a thing, I can put two rows, maybe, on it. We need to put a bit of lace on it, don't you reckon? <clears throat> Give me a second, I got some bits and pieces out here before when I was looking for the material. I think, I don't know if I'm any, anything going to be used. This is nice. Oh, of course it is, I've used it on everything I own. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. Okay, so we don't want to cover up too of much of our background, but we do want to have some lace and stuff on it, don't we? We need it to be, you know, jazzy. Like I said, we need to judge it up a bit. We'll use this piece down here on the bottom to go along the bottom of our pin cushion. This bit. I can go down there, you know, that looks good. Oh, well, yeah, I cut that the right length and I wasn't even measuring or anything. It was just all, all happening right, so it must be meant to go there. So as long as I find me cotton, I'll have some more of that. Actually, maybe I should put a little bit of pink on and that way it'll give it some more. That might be better. This one's folded over and I'm going to leave it folded over. I'll just show you. See, that's what it's like. But it's folded over so it seems to have gone into that way and I like it like that. I think I like that bit. Bit of cotton. We need some more cotton. <clears throat> Mustn't forget to put a little door knob on, eh? That'll be handy. So we can get in and out. Okay. Now I do like this piece here, so we might even put it up there still or something, but I, I'm going to actually wait until I figure out a little bit more of it first. Um, I need something that's sort of a little bit solid here. This is cool. Right, I oh, like that. Is that too big for the roof? Maybe not. This is only pretend, isn't it? <laughs> not real. just all, um, all good fun. Oh, that'd look good from all the way across there, wouldn't it? Let's see if, see if we can get a bit more of that. All the way around the top of the little roof. Yep, sounds like a plan. Very good, is it? Might have to take it up there. And, uh, hang on a minute. Let's just put it across here, eh? Let's just put that across there. Have it for. Um, will it go down? No, it looks better up that way. There's three bits. What have I got here? Oh dear, I bought a little chair for my cat one time. I might have told you it was a little child's chair. And anyway, it ended up in the shed because the cat wouldn't get in it. It's like one of those, like a folding down one. And Jeremy come in yesterday and he told me that the dog was sitting in it, but it didn't have its legs opened out. So he went and opened the legs so she could sit up in that. 
and she's sleeping in there now because it's not so cold, I suppose you're not in a bed. She used to get in a bed and then he, he put it so it was off the ground, the bed was for the dog, in the shed with the blanket in there, but she had to wire the blanket in there so she couldn't keep dragging it out of there because obviously they, she wasn't thinking that that was going to make it cold. And um, so he did that and she kept on dragging it out and he kept it. one day she got caught in it and he seen her up the yard and she had something attached to her and it was the, the what's her name, the, the bed that she drug out of there. So he had, a, like, it was a big black container dish plastic thingy, you know, just... She's only a tiny little chihuahua thingy and or well, something like that anyway. And he, he had to go and... Um, Okay, we're gonna put that on there. We, he had to go and rescue her, so she. I'm, I'm keen on the idea that she's in this chair, and then later on I'll buy her another one that's a bit bigger. Well, maybe not, but I'm gonna put a cover over the top of it so she'll have a a little um, thing to get inside off. Now that'll look good as a um, thing, won't it? There's a window, a bit for the window. So we're sure about that piece. Yeah, I think so. Put it over that way. Right, we're going to put that bit on there. There's this window. I hope I've got a knot. <laughs> You're all the way through there thinking, oh, I hope I've got a knot. I hope I've got a knot. <laughs> and then if it just falls through, it's just hardening, isn't it? <laughs> you make a mistake like that. Anyway, hope you're all having a good day. I really do appreciate all you lovely people that come and watch my channel. I know sometimes I get stuck in something and I'm like I've been doing this now for a while but I'm really enjoying it and I think that's the main thing for me if I got, I've got to enjoy what I'm doing otherwise I don't do a very good job so um you know I think that's what everybody I really believe I don't know and I see I try to make lots of different things you know because I'm myself I just like to make lots of different things but anyway I don't know what I've done, why I deserve the sums down. I'd like to see you people do things. <laughs> Not nice. Now, stop, stop you a bit quiet. You might be able to put the video up. Okay, never mind. If you're not liking it, for goodness sake, just go away. Yes, just leave me alone. Don't have to, you don't have to be here. Right -o. I've actually blocked a couple of people that said some bad things. But anyway, never mind. Right, now, um, this has got to go up here, or down the bottom, because I want, lots of, I want a bit some pretty pieces on it, don't I? Don't think I mind even if it comes over the side a bit, just for, you know, just for interest sake, go the other way, because it's got the scallop parts going over the top of the roof, like that, see, that, that bit scalloppy. Okay. I know I was going to use that other one, but all I did was cut it to pieces. How about this? I think I like that better. I think I'm liking that better. Okay. So this is a piece off the old bed cover. And look, it's got little tiny, little tiny spiky bits on there that would probably be across the top of your roof. If you get your imagination going here. Eh? I got a knot. Yeah, good. Did not really want to see it though. Should have put it in the inside. Give me a second, I'll chop that off and redo that bit. Uh. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't get it off, so I'm going to keep going. Okay. So I won't want to go all the way through, just the top few pieces, I'll catch onto them fabric. Oh, I forgot to put, I forgot to put a dangle on. I haven't finished yet though, so I can do that. I would have liked to have tucked it in though. We'll have to see what we can do about that. I mean, I'll show you what I mean by the dangle. That thing to hold it on to something with. To put it in your journal maybe, even. Or whatever you'd like to do with it. I want to save a, a brooch or something on here. Something to do with, you know. Sewing 
something. So the back's still very plain, and that's okay. You don't have to have both sides done unless you really want to. It's up to you if you want to do the other side too. Let me show you how to do this side, or how I would do it. I'm so warm in here now too, by the way. It's really getting warm. I'm going to have to get the fan sorted out so I can put it on. Thinking about buying a different air conditioner because this one you can't open the window. Oh look, there's a house. <laughs> sort of. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? It's off of the, well, looks like a house. I'm on my for water. I can't really open the window because some air conditioner's in it. And I do like to have the door shut behind me because I feel, you know, if the cat starts coming in. I just feel more comfortable to do it this way. So now we need a bit more for the bottom part. Here we go. What have I got here? Look, I can see this bit. That'll look good on the bottom because it's got a scalloppy edge too, isn't it? Go that way then. So it looks like a bit of house. A bit of house. Maybe we can find a flower. Where well, you think I've got a, I've got a tiny flower here somewhere, haven't I? We know I do. We'll know about them. They're here somewhere. They're actually in that blue thing. But I had some here this morning. I was pushing everything out of my way. I didn't feel like going through it and cleaning it up. I'm just a bit lazy today. Okay, let me see what's here. Okie dokie. So we do something with those. Oh. Couple of buttons there, they, they're looking like they need to go somewhere, don't they? Here's one. Look at this. Wow. Wait a minute, I better find the others now that I've got that one. I think I, think I might need some more. <laughs> or one, maybe two. Where are you? In here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe not so bright either. That one is green, got green on it. This is a bit of a green, greenish sort of one here. That one. And I've got. Them little old ones, but I have that one there. So we have three of them, and then the doorknob can be a button. Not a button, a, well, it could be a button because I've got some more ones, but I think I'll just put a bead on that. I don't want to do the buttons. How have I got them tied on here and why? Must have got just hooked on there while it was in the thing, I think. <laughs> don't remember doing this, but anyhow, it happens when you've got that much stuff and you're scooting through it all the time. I do get tangled up a bit. I like that one. I like that one. I'll get this one off here. Nothing too, didn't want nothing too bright and um, over the top. We'll just see how two, two of them look. One of them, I mean, I'm going to put that piece across the bottom there now. Hopefully. I'm going to knot in this. Right here. Oh, yep. Yeah, put this over here. Yookie dookie. I'm going to come up through that way so the button, so the um, knot doesn't show. And then we go across here with little tiny stitches. But that doesn't matter though because we can see this handmade, can't we? We know that. We definitely do know that it's handmade. And for um, an embellishment for the journal because that's what we do. We make our nice embellishments. There we go. That's in. Maybe we should put that there. Near the door. It needs to be over there. Just leave that there a second while we find the little thing that's going to open the door. I think the birds are happy too now. It's not reduced. Oh, it's been raining here. We had a we had a tornado. I think I said it was a tornado go through here. Not here, but near. I mean. Um, close by, it was um, near where my daughter lives down there in Bathurst and um, our youngest daughter 
and uh, yes, yeah, so it was a bit. I didn't know it all. I was worried last night because it was really storm and bad. It was there was there was um I don't want that one on there because I might put a pin in there with a the top on it like that, eh? Um, it was storming really bad and I was really worried, you know, that she might she whether she was going to be all right or not. But she never contacted me, and I've left her a message first thing this morning to ask her if she could please ring me sometimes when she gets a chance, because I'd like to talk to her. Because <laughs> sometimes when I send her a message, she, oh, that's cool. I made a few of those too there somewhere. Um, I don't know what was that thing? Uh, yeah, so I say to her, it's okay, just leave me a thumbs up if that's all you've got time for. So she does that <laughs> sometimes, and I've got just to make sure that she's all right. I do worry. I can't help it. You always will, no matter how old they are. Isn't it the truth? It is the truth. You just can't help. You have to look after your children. Do I need that? No. I do like that little thing, but I don't think it'll get... Oh, there's a heart. I don't think that'll get through there. I'm going to put this little heart on here just because I just want to. Okay. I hope that's okay with everybody. <laughs> I've got a bead needle. Oh no, yes I do. I have a bead needle. Have I still got that fastened on there? Yep, I'm trying to decide what to do with that flower. I'm going to put this little, it'll go, just go back in there and cut that off. Right close by, see it. It would be a good idea if I clean them, wouldn't it? Um, so this tiny little heart here, very small heart. I've had these for years, these little hearts. I don't know, remember now where I got them from, but anyway. I'm going to come through in under here and sew that on there for the door handle. L. And so that'll, that'll sneak through because it's a little bit pink. We don't want to see it on the top. Oh, it doesn't matter. And then we we'll sew this heart bead on. Whoops, it tangled up a tiny bit. That's your little doorknob. That's cute. Go down in there again and do another stitch. I think I want to make sure it's hanging on by more than one thread. Okay. And don't go right through to the back because then you, you do have the option of whether you want to do that like yourself whether you want to put a put the, the design on the back as well put your windows and stuff in I think I'm going to put a flower over here I'm shocking, isn't it? See a shiny thing go flying for it. So it doesn't matter what you put on here, whether it'll sew on or glue on or what it'll do. But definitely we'd like something like that on there. That looks really cool. I like this little flower. You could embroider your own too if you wanted to. Just do some little stems and, and something. And I think of it now that I've started this, I could have did that myself. Just did a few little bits of grass and and that at the side here. Flowers, you don't need to have the grass in your flower bed, do you? <laughs> it's not a fit, not, not a good look, you know. to end that off a bit. Hang on a minute. I think I'm going to do something here. Look. I think I'm going to do a French knot or two. And then make a little couple of stems up to it. If I can get it with this tiny bit of thread. I'm doing a lot of wraps. And go back in there really close to where it came out because I don't want to put it through the back. And there got one. Go over here, make another one, do a real lot of wraps because of the cotton and then come straight up next to yourself there because you don't want to, oops, there was a bit, that one didn't work very nice because I didn't have a hold of it did I? 
didn't do what I tell you to do. I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to make another loop on this side because it'll look like a flower. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Just pull one side through. There you go. But it doesn't come apart. I'll go down and put it. What's the name? <laughs> now this is a this is a rough looking flower, but you know what? It's okay. It's not bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it down in a minute. Just give me a second. I'll take that down. Where are you? There. So I'm using the loop as a petal now, aren't we? Sort of. And put another bit down the bottom here. Now yeah, come back here and tie that down. I'm going to go back underneath there. Hopefully when I finish doing this it'll look okay anyway. If there's nothing else it'll look alright. It just looks like a little rough little flower doesn't it? Hey. Kinda, you know, you just stand back a bit. <laughs> just stand back a bit and it'll look like a flower. I'm gonna push that back through there. And it shouldn't come shouldn't come off. because <clears throat> I've put it through the um what's the name? The wadding a bit. <clears throat> now we get a piece of green. A little piece of green. A little piece of green. We need something that's not too dark, which is all I can see here. I think that's too thick too to put in there. That'll work, it's a good colour. I don't know why I wasn't pulling enough of that off there. You would have thought I'd need more, wouldn't you? Good idea, and that magnet there. These don't find me things. If I put them in the pin cushion, they do get lost, or I can't find the pin cushion. I think this is going to fit through here now. Come on, I haven't got time for this. Something looking about on me. Here we go. Now we need a knot. Now we do the same thing again. We're going to come through the side here, behind that, and we're going to put a couple of stems on that. See, I, to my way of thinking, what I was thinking is those too many of them flowers were too too much. You know, I didn't, I couldn't use um, those other bigger flowers. I thought they were too too much for it. Didn't want to um, overpower it with them. This one can go underneath there this time. And that one can go underneath there. It's a shame I didn't reach the top of that with this. Should have went right to the top. But anyway, I think that's enough. I think I like that enough. I'm going to go back in through here like I've done before and just end it off in there. <coughs> it's going to take about 50 years for that slit get its way through, I'd say, <laughs> hopefully. This year's not actually catching on to that, is it? That's a shame. We don't like that idea, that's not catching on. And where's that cotton? Here it is. I'm going to use proper thread, the proper needle, not not say it's not proper, but I'm going to use a thicker needle. I'm going to try and fix this up a little bit better than what I've got here. Bit more to a bit tidier we need a little bit tidier so that, that I know it's a very small piece a very small thing that I'm looking at but I need it to look right even if, I, even if it's not amazingly sun so I need to look right I'm a bit, not in there come through again underneath here and put another not there. I 
I wasn't paying attention when I did the last one of these, and it'll not so. Hopefully I will be this time, so it won't come out. I'll make too much of a fuffly mess. Here we go. That's all right. A little, little garden on the corner of the thing. Now this is, this is going to fray for a while, but it'll be all right. But if you want to, you can just run a bit of glue along there. Get you a bit of glue and just run it along that thing. <clears throat> just go along the edge of it with your glue like this, and it will stop fray. And you can actually buy stop fray, but I know I've had some for a long time, and all I've ever done with it is get it dribbling all over the place. I don't know why I haven't used it because I, I don't know what happened when the top came off. Something happened to it and it went everywhere. But it's just. Yes, no, it's beating me now. I don't know where it is. See, these ones here are fray, but that's all right because they're not going to pull undone so easy. This one might do because it's not got anything to stop it, you know. These are way back and they've got stitches. Now, where's my little flower I was going to put on the top of there? There's that one there. I've got a different colour. I do like the green, though. It looks good. They're over in that other box. I know they are. get it undone. Here, yeah, I might even use one of these lighter ones. One of these. They're a sequent. What was I looking for? One of those. Different colour. Is that what I need? I have the purple. No, oh, this looks good. That will go really good with the... Nope. I'll get, get that green one there. What do you reckon? You can't sew them on this one, you can. That one you can sew on. Doesn't work at all, that one. Anything else I've got to put on here? Anything else? I could put some um, beading on there, but I think I might just leave it at that. Oh, yeah, I've got to put a tassel on there, anyway. It's, it's the tail for it to hang up by. That's what I need. Hang up tail. Don't you fall, Just sit there, please. It's amazing how when you move something, everything else goes in its way. I'll just have to glue that on there. It'll stay there. So we're going to do that and just work on our little dangly thing for this. This might take a little while to stick down, so we could be having to keep pressing it down a while. And that's okay, because once it gets there, it's not going anywhere, I hope. Right, now, <clears throat> we need a little dangly bit to, to fasten onto there. And I think I'll do it with the calico. I could use this, I guess. could use some of that, I suppose. No, I'll use the calico because it's got... I just like the fact that it's you know, what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Trying to tear it really skinny, and that's hard. Tear it thin. You could uh, always use a piece of um, thread, like a piece of. Um, but that's not thick enough for me. I want to have something, you know, that I can really use. This piece here, and that is snazzy, isn't it? And then when I put that on there, I'm going to put something on the back to cover it over. I think I want it that long too, because I need to be able to do something with it, even if I put a, um, sew that down. Even if it's just to put on a dangly piece, stick it in the book, or whatever. Maybe this be a little bit too long, maybe, maybe a tiny bit too long. Okay, about there then, eh? I'll sew that. Um, using this here button, or this here button, I think that button will do, and the other one can have something on the back. And then I can, I actually might put this one in the journal, I don't know yet, 
Oh, it could go on the back. Why do I pick the smallest, the, bit, the needle with the smallest eye in it? I'll never know. You've got a whole leap here, Sonia. Come here to me. Nope, you don't want to leave, huh? One of them. Yeah, I probably would have liked the one out today, but it didn't, nah, just didn't bother. Didn't bother. I've shopped every Friday for years, even 30 of them, I think. Yeah, and Jeremy always shopped, a, oh, well, maybe he wasn't, was working, maybe he wasn't with me all the time, but I've always shopped every Friday, and I've always got used to it, and now I can't, well, I couldn't, and now I don't know if I really want to, you know. So I've sort of got that on a half and halfway. It's not exactly because I want it to be. When I say that, it's not. I haven't got it folded over exactly. I want it to be like this sort of, so it's um, it can sit comfortably like that. Okay, and then you can use this here to put a, a ring through or something to hold it on. And I've got this big father needle here, which I'd probably need to have that on there, I think. Why is it not going through properly? I'm making a knot in this. Let's forget this knot. You'd think I'd be used you'd think I'd get used to it now, wouldn't you? The fact that I need a knot. And then I'm gonna go for this button. This is one of them really old fashioned buttons, isn't it? Cool. I don't know what I've done with all of them. I got few stray ones hanging around. I don't know what I did with the rest of them. I've got no idea. It's like it's some metal in underneath it. It probably is. Look at this. <laughs> You're a star, Sonia. You really are this today, you know. Okay, let's go through here again. Should have glued that on there, shouldn't I? Would have made sure it stayed there because this isn't gonna this is not gonna work now because you put the you've dropped the string a bit. The dangly thing, you've dropped that. My husband's still got that bad cough. He was getting better, and now he's got bad again. I don't know what's going on. He's got to go to the doctor again, so... Actually, I... Anyway, I don't want to talk about it at the moment, because I don't know for sure, but... I'm sure he's going to be OK, as long as he gets something the doctor to see about it. It's going to be fine. You know what men are like. I believe everything and not do anything about it. He keeps getting a bit better and then he gets down the big ape again. So, I like that. Don't you think that looks really cool? Okay, now let's fix the back bed. You know what? I'm going to just cut it off, I think. Or, or glue it up there. Let's see what we're going to do. Cut that bit off. <coughs> Get this off here. That did work, wouldn't it? I could put that on there. Nobody needs to worry because I think it'll look good sitting on there. And I can just stick it on. I'll just glue that on there. Hopefully everything will stay put where it's supposed to be. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> okay. So that's going to go on there like that. Because I should have did this before I put them together. It should have been in between those two roof pieces. But it's okay. I don't mind if it's like this. It's it's how I made it. It's just how I made it. And you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to cover the back of it with something. Because I don't, I won't be, we won't be looking at that then, will we? Let's put the whole thing underneath something. Put a bit of glue on. A piece of paper. So then you can write on it. Right, look at that idea. That's a beauty, isn't it? If I put that, no, that's not what I want. Something else is a bit, a bit better piece of stuff. This here can go on the back. I know it's a pin cushion, but it can have that piece on the back of it, can't it? 
Nobody said it can't. Sometimes you just can't plan ahead, you just go with what's happening. Uh, look at that, marvellous. Might just cut that a tiny bit smaller, that bit up there. Right. Put your glue on. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. I know I'm trying to rush now because I'm thinking my time's nearly there and I don't want this to go too far. With them. I'll have to talk to you later. Okay, so everybody look after yourselves and one another. We've all got to stay safe away from all the bad... I'm just calling them the germs. I don't know what else to say. It's just bad germs to me. And, um, and everybody else, I'm sure they think the same thing, but and it's not good. Okay, so that is awesome because now you can um, do what you want to do with that bit and then you can get, and I've got different size pins here, but I didn't really want to put the ones in with the tops on. I wanted to put these little pins in it because I thought it was just going to be for the look. Look, how's that, see? Just going to be for the look. You don't really have to use them if you don't really want to. Where's some more of them little ones? Oh, I know I've got them here somewhere in a box. I'll have to come and find them later. So, these a little pin cushion. Okay. This one's too long. I like those. I like the way that they look in, in this because I think they look awesome. Don't you think that's really cool? <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. And I'll talk to you later. You can use it for your, your normal pins if you want to. You know, just put put these in here, it'll take lots of things, because it's padded, you see, you can't probably put one there or there, but it's still padded so you can use it for your, for your pins, but I'm going to put those little ones in there when I go and find some more, and even a safety pin would be nice too, and that's definitely going to be stuck there, it's not going away, is it? Thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you're having a good day, and if not, you can make one of those and that'll cheer you up, and that's not hard, is it? Look. Isn't that easy? Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for your lovely comments. And please leave me a thumbs up. That's the way. Goodbye. <laughs>